Welcome to CyberSmart Forever. When you say this symbol, pause the video and your teacher will run a class discussion. Hi, I'm Taylor and I'd like to tell you a story about the time I accidentally shared way too much online. This is me talking to my friend Jane. She's 13, a few years older than me, so she gets to do lots of fun stuff way before me. Today, Jane has been showing me this app on her smartphone called QuickPick. And the best thing is you can share whatever pictures you want because they get deleted after 10 seconds. It's great for sending secret messages. Plus, if you don't get it, you'll miss out on all my silly selfies. That does sound like fun, but I don't know. My dad made me promise not to download new apps without asking him first. And anyway, don't you have to be 13 to get quick pick? Oh, don't worry about that. Your dad doesn't need to know. And it's just for fun. I hope you get it. And then, it's silly selfie time! I didn't want to do anything wrong, but I really wanted to have fun with Jane. If you were in my shoes, what would you do? I decided to let Jane put quick pick on my phone, and that night, Jane sent a selfie of her and her dog Indy. Indy was slobbering all over Jane's face and Jane looked grossed out. It was pretty funny. The next day, I got a message from QuickPick that someone called Big Mitch 14 sent me a friend request. I decided to ask Jane about it. Oh, uh, that's just Mitch. You know, the tall guy who always sits up the back of the bus? Oh, I know who he is. That's weird though. I mean, he's never really spoken to me before. Well, he and I are friends of QuickPick. He's so cool. You have got to accept his request. Mitch wasn't a friend of mine, but Jane said he was okay. Do you know anyone that has added people to their accounts that they didn't know personally? What happened? I decided to accept Mitch's friend request. Later that night, while I was in the kitchen, I got a pic from Mitch. It was a selfie Mitch had taken, only he was cross-eyed and his cheeks were puffed out like a frog. It was pretty funny. Next, I got a pic from Jane, where she was holding up the tip of her nose so she looked like a pig. It was hilarious. I laughed so hard I spilt my drink all over my pants. And since it was my turn to take a selfie, I shared my first pic on Quick Pic and wrote, You are hilarious. Laughed out loud so hard I spilt my drink. Now it looks like I wet myself. Then something happened. QuickPick sent me a message saying Big Mitch 14 had saved my pick. I didn't even know you could do that. So I decided to ask Jane about it on the bus. The next day when I got on the bus, everyone was staring at me and giggling. I was freaked out. So I asked Jane what was going on. She said Mitch had shared my selfie with heaps of other kids from school only without the caption I wrote, which made it look like I really had wet myself. I went bright red. I didn't know what to say, but Jane stood up for me. Mitch, that was a really mean thing to do. I think you'd better say sorry to Taylor and delete that photo right now. Sorry, Taylor. I guess that was pretty lame of me, but I emailed it around already, so I'm not sure if I can delete it. Mitch had emailed my pic to a whole bunch of kids at school. What do you think? Once something gets shared around online, is there a way of deleting it? Well, that was super embarrassing and it took a while to get over it. I got teased for ages, but I'm okay now. I learned three really important lessons from all of this and I'd like to share them with you. We might know more about tech than our parents, but sometimes we need help with life's ups and downs. If you ever need help, talk to someone you trust. Be careful who you friend online. And be careful what you share on the internet, cause once it's out there, it's out there. Thanks for listening to my story. Have fun online and be safe.